Good morning, everybody. Good morning, my friends. Good morning, children of God all over the world, wherever you are. May the good Lord bless you, guide, and protect you in Jesus' name. Amen. Our topic today is God's destiny for your life will come to pass. Hallelujah. God's destiny for your life will come to pass. Amen. Sometimes we don't realize how much God is in control. God already has solutions to every problem that you will ever face. God is in complete control, orchestrating it all. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 27, God says, For the Lord of hosts has proposed, and who will annul it? Who will stop what God has planned for you? His hand is stretched out, and who will turn it back? This is saying, God has a purpose for your life. God is saying, who can stop my plan? Who is more powerful than me? Who can make a mistake so big that I can't forgive it? Have a problem so large that I can't solve it? A dream so great that I can't bring it to pass? God's plan cannot be stopped by a bad break. All the forces of darkness can't keep you from your destiny. Sometimes we think because we have made mistakes and we are not where we want to be in life. We must have stopped God's plan. You are not that powerful. You may have made mistakes, but it wasn't a surprise to God. He already has the mercy, shake off the guilt and move forward. Nothing that you have done or haven't done has cancelled your destiny. You are not powerful enough to stop God's plan. God has the final say. Nothing can snatch you out of God's hands. No accident or crazy person can stop God's plan. God is in complete control of your life. God is working behind the scenes, arranging things in your favor. He's making a way where you don't see a way. You don't have to live worried, stressed out, trying to force everything to happen. All you have to God to do is keep God first. Honor Him with your life and you will come into this destiny moment where you see God supernaturally protecting you, where you are at the right place, meet the right person that wasn't coincidence. That was the favor of God moving you towards your divine destiny. It's not a lucky break. It's Almighty God saying, I have got a destiny for you to fulfill. My plan will come to pass. You may not see how this can happen, but God will have hundred ways to do it that you ever thought of. God is directing your steps down to the smallest details. He can make things happen that you could never make happen on your way or on your own. He's for you on your side and what he has proposed for your life will come to pass. Amen. Even when you don't have the courage to do what you know you, you are supposed to do, God won't leave you there. God will push you into your des divine destiny. God knows how to get you to where you are supposed to be. God is so good, loving, forgiving. Even if he has to drag us, he will still get us to our destiny. We don't have to live down on ourselves because we don't think we have enough faith. Don't have to go around stressed out because it's not happening on your time table. We can stay in peace knowing that our God is in complete control. He knows when we wouldn't have the faith, when we need a pause or a push. He's already got your destiny moments lined up where you will see his hands of favor. A problem you have had for years suddenly turns around. An opportunity of lifetime is suddenly in front of you. Those are destiny moments that God already has in your future. God works in a mysterious ways. He knows how to get people to like you. Why don't you trust him? Believe that in your future I had these destiny moments. You may not be able to make it happen, but God knows how to make it happen. Sometimes we get all worked up trying to make things happen. We are discouraged because somebody won't be our friend. We are working over time, trying to convince them to like us. If somebody doesn't like you, don't take it personally. They are not part of your destiny. 
If you will keep moving, you will come into the people God has ordained for you. God has divine con- connections in your future. People that will celebrate you, want to be your friend, even go out of their way to be good to you. God has it all lined up, big ways, small ways. God is in complete control. God is not doing what that will not benefit you in future. His plan for your life is something for you to accomplish. You haven't made too many mistakes. You haven't missed too many opportunities. If you will keep moving forward, you will come into your destiny moments where you see God's hand of favor. That's Him bringing about His purpose in your life. If you're going to live in victory, all through the day say, I am a person of destiny. His favor surrounds me like a shield. No weapon formed against me will prosper. What God started in my life, He will finish. I will become everything he's created me to be hallelujah amen then in this life we live how you are raised doesn't have to stop your destiny before anyone could put a curse on you god put a blessing on you the blessings always override the curse it doesn't matter what people have said about you it matters what god said about you you came through your parents and from almighty god Just because you were raised in a negative environment, you don't have to stay there. That is not whom you are. Shake off every negative comment people have spoken over you and reprogram your thinking. When God puts the blessings on you, it doesn't matter what people say or how they treat you. All that matters is that Almighty God has blessed you and nothing else is of any effect. When God created you, He breathed breathed his blessings on you it doesn't matter what people say or how they treat you all that matters is that almighty god has blessed you and nothing else is of any effect he breathed his blessings into you you are wearing god's crown of favor when someone mistreats you it's easy to let that cloud your future have a new perspective what god has blessed no person can cause people are powerless to stop the blessings on your life The enemy doesn't fight you for where you are. He fights you for where you are going. You may be facing difficulty. It's because God has something amazing in your future. There are new levels of your destiny. You have not touched the surface of what God has in store. You are going to see. Ephesians 3.20 says, Exceedingly, abundantly, above and beyond. You and God are a majority. If God be for you, who dare be against you? What God has proposed for your life will come to pass. God's plan for your life is down to the very second. God is not a, a vague God. He's a detailed God, a praises God, an extent God. He has already taken into account every attack that will come against you. It's not your time to go. All the forces of darkness cannot stop you. God is bigger than any enemy, injustice, or sickness. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah, chapter 59, verse 19, it says, When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. God knows how to protect you. Just as God can make blind eyes to see, God can make seeing eyes blind. God can shield you from the enemy. Quit worrying about your future. Quit trying to figure it all out. God has you in the palm of his hands. There is a hedge of protection around you that the enemy cannot cross. What is meant for your harm, God said he will use to your advantage. When you don't see a way, God can make a way. When it looks like it's over, God has the final say. Hallelujah. Amen. The book of Hebrews 13.5 says, Don't love money. Be satisfied with what you have. For God has said, I will never fail you. I will never abandon you. Hallelujah. God is there for us all the time. He knew we will face situations that look impossible. God is saying, I will not fail you or let you go under. My purpose for your life will come to pass. I will give you another chance. I will love you too much to let you miss your destiny. 
stir your faith up shake off every disappointment every negative comment the self-pity and put on a new attitude get up every morning and say father thank you that you destined me to go through this and i will be i will come out very successfully in jesus mighty name amen